Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach, uh, trying to reach Brother Robert. Hey, speaking. Hey, how you doing? I'm, uh, I'm calling you from the church. How you doing, brother? Man, I'm doing super fantastic. Anything above ground is a good thing. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Hey, uh, hey, listen, man, we wanted to, uh, 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 being one of the brothers of the church, I wanted to give you a call. I mean, you didn't make it today, but you, now, well, you know, your wife stood up today and, uh, asked us to keep y'all in our prayers because y'all, uh, definitely trying to bring a, a new child into the world and, and she let us know that, you know, uh, she, she, she's, she's, uh, being a little older now, 41, 42, you know, she said it takes a little longer to try and conceive a child than, you know, in your earlier years. So we, we definitely wanted to let you know, man, that we, we got y'all in our prayers, man. Uh, man, you just don't know how much we appreciate that, man. Yeah, we've been trying, but I know with, with prayers, all things are possible. Yeah, well, we definitely want to, definitely want to keep you all in our prayers, man, and, uh, uh, hope that you all are able to conceive this child and bring, you know, bring, 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 bring a new, uh, new child into this world. You know, the, the book says be fruitful and multiply. Definitely, definitely. Now, who, who is this again? Brother, this brother Arthur. Brother Arthur. I don't know if you know me directly, but I'm, I'm brother. I'm one of the brothers at the church. Oh, okay, okay, brother. Thank you. No, 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 no. Now, brother Robert, what I want to ask you, man, was: Have you considered any uh, any alternative uh, methods as far as you know, uh, maybe helping this situation? Uh, we've looked at a few. Uh, what, 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 what are you referring to as an alternative? Well, I mean, I, I think I have a, a good uh, thing there that, that might be able to help this thing speed up the process, and and and, and, and you guys will be expecting in no time, man. Man, we just open for some things like that. What what what, what you got in mind? I mean, uh, well, what I have is a little little unorthodox, man. But I think if if you allow me to to, to to help you on this, man, I think that you'll be definitely satisfied. And you know, man, if, if nine months from now you guys will be at the hospital waiting, looking for your your baby boy, your baby girl, you know. Well, well clarify an orthodox. Okay. Uh, see what what I have in mind, man. Is, is, is have you considered maybe like a surrogate father? A, clarify. <laughs> Clarify Sarah, because I, I'm thinking the wrong thing. I don't. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. What do you mean by Sarah the fuck? Well, what it is, man, is you know, you know, of course, a surrogate mother is someone that will carry a child for those that cannot carry one. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So what? 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 Uh, I've gone to the doctor and got myself checked out, man. Good physical and everything. I'm physically fit and everything. And you know, maybe I guess the complications are coming from. Uh, you as far as the child not being, you know, you're not being able to conceive right now. No, 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 ain't, no, ain't nothing wrong with me, man. Okay. Now, now, what you mean by you physically fit? I mean, what, what the hell that got to do with him? Well, see, what I'm saying is, if, 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 well, you know, if you, if you allow me to come over and, and, and supply my services, I mean, let's say if you left for a weekend, man, and, and I stayed over there, by the time you get back, man. Man, what the f*** wrong with you? Is, is this what's going on at this church, man? Am I at the wrong church? They, they, you, you telling me you trying? Let me understand. You saying you want to come over and, and, and have sex with my wife? Well, I mean, I mean, don't, don't look at it like that. Don't look at it like that. Look at it as if I'm helping you. I mean, what you telling me? Is that real clear to say you go what? Excuse me, now. Okay. You okay. telling me you want to come have sex? With my wife. No, no, no. I want to come over and just apply my services, man, and put you guys in a better position that you will be able to have a job in your life. You, you understand what I'm saying? You understand where I'm coming from? No, nah, I don't. Sound like you tell me you want to have sex with my life, man. What the f*** is wrong with you, man? Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. No, this, this, this brother Arthur, man. Listen, see, what, I, what I'm trying to do... Man, I don't give a f*** if you brother child. Who the f*** is brother Arthur, man? I don't know you. And then you talking about the church. What kind of thing? This is... No, no, this really the church don't have nothing to do with this. It's me calling you to lend but you. Will you come to me, sir? I'm trying to be, if you allow me to be the surrogate father, I'll have a pregnant by the end of the week. Man, you got me up. As soon as I say, I'm coming to the Bible study Tuesday to see you. You show up at Bible study so I can do you up. Okay, okay, bro. Guarantee me you want to have brother, brother, brother. Man, what brother. kind of you can't look at that like that. How are we going to get this? How are we going to get past this so we can get you to this child, man? So we ain't going to get past this. You talking about having sex with my wife. Where are your wife at? Brother, you ain't got no wife? So I, I, I have a, a wife, brother Robert. What I'm trying to do is help you along with yours and getting this child conceived. That's what I'm trying to help. Brother, you can't help me talking about having sex with my wife. You said it on other days. I didn't think you was going that far with it. How the you get my phone number? 
Well, you know, we, we have people listed at the church. We have our own phone numbers listed. He left mine. And when I get that to you, I hope to see you, but I'm going to punch you hey. Yeah. Hey, look, man, why don't, I, why don't I speak to your wife uh, when she comes to church this week, and I'll see how man, she... Man, don't say a thing to my wife. Hold on, I'm just going to talk to her and see how she feels about maybe, maybe you know, using this... Hey, no, no, you can't say Man, don't even look in that direction. Brother, brother, man, who are you? I need to see you myself. Okay, what, 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 what is all the anger, though, brother? What, what, what? Man, you, man, you know the anger is you just sitting there telling me? Let's flip the script. I'm going to come have sex with your wife. Okay. You should get angry. Okay, brother, I, I, I got one more thing I need to tell you. Get this, uh, are, are you ready for, can I say this? Man, you better hurry up or I'll hang up in your face. Okay, are you, are you listening, brother Rob? I've been listening. I'm tired of listening. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your wife. <laughs> man, what you say? Hey. Man, hey, Tommy, man. you can't be doing like that, man. I'm about to have a rest come to change with everybody in there. <laughs> but now your husband going to stay punch first in the mouth. Then look for you. <laughs> <laughs> Morning show with ass Steve and ass nephew Thomas. <laughs>